The University of New Mexico Children's Hospital is the state's only dedicated children's hospital, caring for nearly 60,000 kids who suffer from acute illness, trauma, chronic disease, and disability. Yes, and the hospital's most powerful healing tools are the skillfully trained and dedicated staff and physicians, the families, and our community. Today is Miracle Treat Day, courtesy of Dairy Queen, and proceeds from every blizzard sold in New Mexico will benefit UNM Children's Hospital. Those details in a minute, but first, more about UNM Children's Hospital. What we would like to do today is show people in New Mexico what UNM Children's Hospital has to offer. You know, we have the highest level of intensive care available. We have the highest level designation of the newborn intensive care. We are the only pediatric oncology program here in the state. So if a child is unfortunate enough to be diagnosed with cancer, they come here. And you know, we, we want people to know that there's something good here in New Mexico. It's this facility here, this is something to be proud of. Play is what kids do. It's what, you know, it's their job, as we say. And so being able to have the toys and the games and things like that to, you know, bring some normalcy back into their day, um, what they would be doing when they're at home or when they're at school um, is, to, you know, is key to them being able to cope and, and um, you know, get through their hospital stay while they're here. You know, growing up, you know, my father was in the Air Force. Uh, the, the hospitals were Battleship Gray and kids were treated as small adults. And, you know, 30, 40 years later, um, you know, kids are kids. They deserve to be able to play, you know, they deserve to have, to go outside and just be kids. You know, people have an idea, whether it be from TV shows or things like that, of the hospital being a very um, bare and, and depressing place. And, and, you know, as you can see, we have lots of color and friendly faces and staff and volunteers and, and games and toys that, you know, um, you know, we hope to brighten their day. Um, you know, whether it's bringing an activity or a game or our pet therapy dogs who come in or clowns, um, you know, we really try to promote um, play and, and keeping their spirits up while they're here. And so um, all the tools that we have in games and arts and crafts supplies are key to us being able to provide that for them every day. You know, the kids can go out, get some fresh air, climb on things, bang on things. You know, we have a wheelchair ramp out there so kids who are, you know, new to a wheelchair or new to a prosthesis can practice, you know, with their, their new leg or being in a wheelchair. You know, we have movie night, we have bingo night, we have this play area behind me where kids can play with their siblings. Because when a child is sick or injured, it's not just the child, it's the entire family that uh, is, you know, goes through this healing process. So it's nice to actually, you know, the kids can play with their brothers or sisters. When we bring them down here for the first time, um, their eyes just light up and they're like, I didn't even know this existed. Um, and it just really is, you know, great for them, you know, because they come into the hospital thinking that, you know, they're just going to be stuck in their room. There's not going to be anything to do. Um, so when we bring them down here, it just is such a relief for the parents as well to know that their kid can still be a kid while they're here. All of the toys and, and it, all all of our supplies that we use are um, funded, for lack of a better word, through donations. You know, whether it be um, community sponsors, individuals from the community, all the games and activities and um, teaching material that we use um, is all um, paid for through you know, donations um, for those people. So, you know, when they see those balloons, you know, they can think of, you know, when they're donating that money, you know, that's providing the, the candy land and the, the paints and the supplies that the kids use every day while they're here um, that they look forward to, um, to, you know, when they get to come down, like, can we go down to the playroom? Can we go to Child Life? That's where all that stuff comes from. So Dairy Queen's got their Miracle Treat Day coming up this month. So folks can buy a blizzard and those proceeds benefit UNM Children's Hospital. You know, 100% of those monies go to help kids, New Mexico's kids. Uh, well, everything at UNMH has been wonderful. We've, we've had a lot of different hospital stays at various different hospitals. Uh, but the, the children's wing up here with all the toys, um, the nurses are great. Everything about here has made the stay wonderful. Um, Caleb, uh, you know, he's been here for a few days now and 
uh, just all of the, the resources and equipment that they have makes the stay enjoyable and, and fun for Caleb as well. Without care like this, you know, uh, Caleb would be in a, in a lot of hurt um, and the stays wouldn't be fun for him. So uh, it's absolutely important that people consider donating. You can go out and you can buy a blizzard and know you're making a difference. Gosh, that is so wow. special. And Susan Davis owns and operates three DQ locations right here in Albuquerque, and she's brought some miracle treats for us. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you for having me. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much on behalf of everybody for what Dairy Queen is doing. It is actually our pleasure to do so. We're happy that we can be part of something that's so important in life. Oh, absolutely. And I know that you brought some fun flavors <laughs> for us today. What did you bring? Well, I brought a variety of... Uh, sizes and flavors. Of mm. course, I had to bring Oreo because of Oreo course. is oh, yes. Is that the most popular? Oreo is the most popular and has been forever. I don't know who came up with the idea to put cookies with soft serve ice cream, but they're genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Please tell us what are the details of Miracle Treat Day? Well, the uh, Children's Miracle Network is um, takes care of about 170 different hospitals. Wow. Whoa. And uh, Dairy Queen has been a partner with the Children's Miracle Network for three decades, Gosh. which is almost my lifetime. All right? <laughs> I mean, really. And over those this time frame, we've given more than $90 million. And oh, so it's wow. a great wow. way to really help our neighbors and friends. And that's who needs our help. Right Absolutely. Now, our neighbors and friends. So Dairy Queen has been involved in this effort for nearly three decades. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. I love to hear that. I really do. It is amazing. It is. And so I know that you're participating. Tell us all right. about all of the different uh, New, Mex uh, New Mexico Dairy Queens that are participating today I so people can get out. I think most everyone participates in this. This is mm -hmm. a, a big day for, for all of us because we all feel like, you know, we're in a business that is one that we can share yeah. and help. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a neighborhood kind of company. We are all independently owned and operated. Mm -hmm. It seems like most of the operators are the owners. And yeah. so okay. the people that we serve every day is our, you know, our neighbor, our dentist, you know, the people that groom our dogs. So, yeah. you know, it's something it's that great. we feel like this is a way for us to give back to people that do need our help right now. How did you do last year, just out of curiosity? I really don't have a number. Okay. All I know is, you know, what we give specifically and, um, I know we give a lot of yeah. our time and our efforts. And Absolutely. Just the money. And you make people very happy with this. Which one should we try? What, we well, have to try one, right? Well, Elias? you're not going to yes, be able to try them right now because they're a little bit <laughs> okay. frozen. They're well, well, it is well, 7.30 well, in the morning, Well, thank you for morning, being right? here. <laughs> and uh, we'll try some when we come back. And coming up next on New Mexico Style, Adventure on the High Seas awaits. We'll tell mm -hmm. you which books are on this week's Summer Passport reading list. Thank Can't you, wait. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. It is frozen. <laughs> <laughs>